One whispers of the forgotten. Once upon a time in a small forgotten town, there lived three children who unknowingly stumbled upon the dark secrets that haunted their past. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over the decrepit buildings, the air became thick with an unsettling tension. The first child, Emily, had always been drawn to the abandoned house at the end of Willow Street. Its windows were shattered, and ivy snaked its way up the decaying walls. One evening, driven by an inexplicable force, Emily cautiously approached the eerie structure. She could hear faint whispers in the wind beckoning her inside. As she stepped through the creaking door, memories flooded her mind. Memories of a forgotten childhood. The dusty, cobweb-covered rooms echoed with the laughter of children long gone. Emily's heart raced as she realized she was not alone. In another part of town, Jacob found himself in the desolate playground where he used to play with his friends. The rusty swings creaked and swayed in the chilly breeze. A ghostly mist enveloped the area, distorting reality. Suddenly the ghostly apparitions of his childhood friends emerged, their eyes hollow and mouths agape. They silently beckoned him to join their spectral game. As Jacob hesitantly approached, the swings began to move on their own, a haunting melody playing in the background. The laughter of the ghostly children echoed through the night, creating a surreal and terrifying scene. Jacob tried to escape, but an invisible force held him captive, forcing him to relive the games of his youth. Meanwhile, in the forgotten cemetery, Sarah found herself standing before an ancient mausoleum. The moonlight cast an eerie glow on the weathered tombstones. As she traced her fingers over the names of long-departed souls, she suddenly felt a cold hand on her shoulder. Whispers surrounded her, revealing the untold stories of those who rested beneath the ground. The spirits rose from their graves, their eyes fixated on Sarah. Each step she took echoed through the graveyard, awakening the nightmares of her childhood. As the spirits closed in, she realized the chilling truth. She had unwittingly disturbed the peace of the forgotten. The three children, Emily, Jacob and Sarah, found themselves interconnected by a dark force that sought to remind them of the terrors they had buried deep within their memories. The echoes of their past nightmares merged into a haunting symphony, enveloping the entire town in a shroud of fear. Legend has it that the whispers of the forgotten still linger in the shadows, waiting for unsuspecting souls to unlock the doors of their childhood nightmares. The abandoned house, the desolate playground and the forgotten cemetery serve as chilling reminders that some nightmares never truly fade away, and the past can claw its way back into the present when you least expect it. To the ghostly reflection in the mirror, Emma, a young girl with a vivid imagination, always felt a mysterious presence in her bedroom. One evening, while brushing her hair in front of an antique mirror, she noticed a ghostly figure standing behind her. The reflection mimicked her every move, but its eyes harbored a darkness that sent shivers down her spine. Terrified, Emma tried to look away, but the ghostly figure in the mirror whispered secrets from her past, secrets she had long forgotten. The mirror became a portal to a realm where the boundaries between reality and nightmare blurred. The abandoned carnival of shadows, Tom and his friends discovered an abandoned carnival hidden in the woods behind their neighborhood. Intrigued by the rusted rides and faded posters, they decided to explore the eerie amusement park. As the sun set, the carnival came alive with the echoes of laughter and distant screams. Each ride became a nightmarish journey through the fears of their childhood. The carousel spun too fast, the ferris wheel creaked with ghostly riders, and the funhouse revealed distorted reflections of their own terrors. The once abandoned carnival had become a twisted playground for the nightmares they had buried in the recesses of their memories. These three tales are but glimpses into the nightmares that lurk in the corners of childhood, waiting to be remembered and relived. In the silence of the night, when the world is draped in shadows, the echoes of these stories may still be heard, whispering cautionary tales to those who dare to wander too close to the edge of forgotten dreams.